folks, I'm back with another one. I hope you're well. I hope you and your family are doing good. Um, I personally am okay. Um, just getting through things that come up in life, um, as we all are. Um, but yeah, I'm back with another one. And I just thought, um, looking back at addiction, my addiction, um, I'd speak about a subject that really um, played quite a, a big part in my thinking back then um, and it involves other people really um, and it's jealousy, envy, jealousy, whichever you want to call it, it's that um, and I'll start by saying I'm not a jealous person really, I'm not, you know, fast cars, big houses, um, money it, it, you know I don't look at people and think uh, in a bad way uh, oh you've got that I'm so jealous you're a, a such a such um, I, th I often think the opposite you know certainly now I think well done to them you know they've done well for themselves maybe maybe they've got a, you know a, a good job and they've been to uni they've done well they've owned a business so they should have those things if it if, if that's what they want and I'm pleased for people who are doing well um, but in the old days in, when I was gambling um, when I was drinking but more so when I was gambling um, and the financial impact would be so severe um, I would look at people and this what I'm about to say next again I would love to know if if you watching this can relate, um, I I would look at people and I would uh, be gambling. I would be trying to find whatever uh, means I could to to get money to gamble. I would be lying, um, deceitful. I would be trying to con companies out of money. I would be trying to um, keep the wolves from the door in terms of debts. Um, and I would come across people close to me um, but also random people um, and I would be talking to them and they would explain that perhaps they've just bought an house perhaps they've just got a job where it's allowed them to buy a car um, whatever really they'd be saying to me is a positive for them and again I was pleased for them underneath uh, but from my point of view when I don't mean this in oh my god look at me I'm poor little me from my point of view my world was caving in because of the choices I was making through addiction financially and mentally um, these people who I would come across would be so happy at times. They would be so eager to tell me about the new house, the new car, how well life is going for them. And great, you know, really good. I'm not materialistic. Um, I've never been one for buying designer clothes. <laughs> they wouldn't fit me, to be honest with you, but... You know, things like that, great watches and things. I'm not, you know, going out there to, to to win money to buy those things. It's not, it wasn't a case of that. I just wanted to be, um, in terms of finances, uh, comfortable and able to do things. It was more about doing things for me, you know, going on holiday, um, getting away. So... When people would talk about those things to me, I would be jealous and envious, not because they've got a brand new car, but because their life is in such an order, not because they've got a brand new house, but because their life is such an order, that they would, they are able to sort their finances out. They are able to save money. They are able to, uh, enjoy life without the mental torture that is addiction 
and I would be envious to the I would be really you know jealous envious and I would be pleased for them but that would be an overriding feeling and I would look at these people and friends family or people I'm speaking to and I would think I wish that was me I wish I could be like that why am I different why do I have to endure this torture that is getting my fix um, using you know gambling whatever your addiction is I'm sure you can relate um, and I would look and I would think where does the line stop for them how are they able to draw a line perhaps they did like a gamble perhaps they like to join perhaps they like to drink but they knew when to stop and it didn't cause them any problems mentally financially or physically um, because they didn't do it to a point where it would cause them problems and I used to look and think how how have you got the strength how have you got the uh, sort of mental capacity to do that and so it left it left uh, admiration because despite my problems I still admired them but it also left a taste in my mouth where why me why why have I got to live this way and of course addiction it doesn't choose you know it, people have different beliefs on that but it doesn't choose who it's going to attack our choices play a part in um in, in in prolonging addiction and um you know some say from early ages when you're around things then you're more susceptible to to become an addict to whatever addiction some it just grows on you know over time and some i think you know they slip into it by accident um but overall um, when you're in that, when you're in that sort of mindset and that that torture that is addiction, um, without any help on the horizon or not wanting help, um, it's very much a case of feeling. Certainly, in my case of that's them and this is me, and I'm the peasant. I'm the disgusting person. I'm the 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 one who has failed and as i spoke about before failure um and being a failure and feeling a failure it almost leads you to take part in the addiction more because it's an escape it's an escape from feeling that way and it's a vicious cycle you know you gamble in my case you gamble you feel like you're a failure, you don't want to experience those feelings, you escape to gambling again, you feel more of a failure. And all the while, these people around you are, yes, they will have their own problems, they will have maybe marri marriage problems, you know. Everybody has problems, and I'm not saying they didn't, but they were screwed on enough to get their life in order, pay their bills, um sort their housing out you know they didn't end up homeless they didn't end up uh, without food in the cupboards and they didn't end up causing untold misery to the friends and the family and the wives and husbands um, through selfish behaviour that really I couldn't break the cycle to help myself with so yeah I just wondered if people could relate to that um, I do want to stress that it's not that I had any bad feelings towards these people. I was really quite happy, especially friends and family. Of course you're going to be happy that they are doing well. But even in the you know mental place that I was, I was pleased for them. But I was also very, very much jealous and envious of them having a normal life. Of course, they would still have problems, as I said, but in general, they wasn't having any of the sort of issues where I caused um, hours, such as homelessness, uh, 
not paying bills, bailiffs, um, just the whole host of problems and the mental torture we we put others through. They wasn't doing that and I just wanted to be like them. I wanted to be normal. And the fact that I couldn't upset me, it it demotivated me as much as it should have motivated me. Um, but it also just left a taste where it's it I'm less than them. I am less than them. And I think that's a, a really bad place for someone to feel. And I still feel that now, even though I'm two year, two and a half years gamble free. Um, I focused on gambling addiction there, because that's my story, but it could be any. Um, but yeah, I think what I've learned in recovery is it's not it's not always just as simple as I buggered up, I messed up my life. They are better than me. I think what I need, what I've come to realise is that I was going through a, a stage of my life for a long time where I was addicted, and it's not an excuse, it's not a reason, it's just reality. I was addicted to a a vice that I couldn't break the cycle. I couldn't, no matter what help, I couldn't leave it alone and them decisions that I made in the midst of that addiction in the height and in the grip of that addiction those choices I made just took away my my sense of worth my personality my um, feeling as though I'm normal um, and it, it, it made me feel less than the, the next person in the street um, but yeah, I, I, I just wanted to make a video on this because I think it, from what I've come across, people can relate and they can feel like that and that's the whole purpose as well. Um, by me talking about it, as I always say, if you can relate, at least you're not, you know, you know you're not alone in feeling that way. But in recovery, I've realised it's not that we are worse people would make terrible choices you know we do do things that we wouldn't um have envisaged doing certainly when we was younger but ultimately once we have opened up to help once we have um put things in place to break the cycles of addiction which i talk about a lot um on my other videos um once we do these things and once we start to um, get some sort of foundation where we are free from addiction, free from using, um, free from gambling, whatever your addiction is, then we can start to open up a mental space where over time we start to feel a little bit more normal. We start to feel a little bit more self-worth. Um, I still struggle with it, but I've also got other mental health issues. Um, but it, it's it's possible and I've seen that so many times through addicts that I've come across once they've stopped they are able to see a little bit of light and they are able to feel a little bit more self worth get their house in order get the bills in order get their um, life in order um, where they're not causing misery to people um, but yeah I think overall I do want to stress that me feeling as though I'm a failure still after two and a half years won't be the same for everyone. It, I have other issues going off um, and daily reminders of my past which impact my self worth, feeling of self worth. Um, but that's not the case for everyone. And I've seen many people stop gambling, stop their addiction, and go on to, to have a great life and you know be that normal person that others aspire to be be that switched on person and successful person so yeah i'll leave it there folks but i just wanted to like i said make a video on that and you know hopefully you can relate and hopefully you don't feel as though you are alone in feeling that whether you're going through addiction or have been through addiction but yeah i'll leave it there folks and i will um 
I'll catch you on the next one and uh, yeah, stay safe folks and enjoy enjoy your week and your weekend. Cheers folks.